Good morning, Ridge, and welcome back to another edition of Tribe TV. I'm Maddie. On this week's show, we have no card confessions, some Q&As, and an Instagram video. Stay tuned. Here in RVM, we all wrote down some of our confessions and had a couple people read them out loud and record their reactions. One time I got lost in the woods for an hour and my house ended up being right behind me the whole time. <laughs> okay. I cheated on my... <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> when I'm sad, I have to have a cookies and cream milkshake from Chick-fil-A or I would want to fight someone. When Zoss not looking, I like to drink his coffee. <laughs> I cheated on my girlfriend with a guy, and it turns out she was cheating on me with him too. That's grimy. <laughs> when I was in Honduras, we were playing chicken fight, and I was laughing so hard that I pooped myself on top of my brother's shoulders. I had to dissect a frog, and I liked it. Ted Bundy. <laughs> I broke up my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, into my chest. Hair's kind of hurting too. I broke up my boyfriend because I still have feelings for John Lamaster. Zeta? Oh no, that's Bailey. <laughs> I take Max's parking spot every morning on purpose just to make him mad. I fill an IV bag with grape juice and put it in my bloodstream. <laughs> Y'all wild for real, that's crazy. I get coffee from the teacher area every day. Sometimes, I blame it on Zoth. When I was in kindergarten, I told people I was, a, I was Princess Belle, but to keep it a secret. I used to crawl under my kitchen table and eat sour cream with a spoon. Thank you. When I was in Honduras, <laughs> I saw it, I saw it pushing my... Have you ever wondered what you could and couldn't live without? Here's Hayden's 10 Essentials. What up GQ, it's your boy Hundo, AKA Hollywood, and these are my 10 Essentials. So my first essential are these five essentials. Let's get to it. So my first essential, Christmas lights. You always gotta keep some Christmas lights on you. You just never know when you're gonna need them and they help you always get lit. So my next essential, wood glue. You can't spell holly wood without the wood glue. So I've showed you most of my essentials so far, and you're probably wondering what I keep it all in. It could be Louis, Gucci, Prada, but for the most part, I like to keep it in a trash can. Christmas lights, steaming, wood glue. Fits in there perfect, portable, and it goes with all my outfits. So for my last essential, a lot of people probably had this. You know, it's just something you always gotta keep. My ladder. Here's Nia and Elizabeth trying to decipher some of Florida's craziest headlines. We all love Florida beaches and Disney World, but Floridians are a tad bit wacky. It must be something in the water. We asked people a bunch of true or false Florida men headlines to see if they could tell which is which. This will prove that Georgians are a tad bit smarter and better at football. Let's get started. Florida man breaks into crocodile enclosure, leaves behind a pair of crocs. False. So like, he forgot his shoes? I think that's true. Yeah. It is? Florida man chews up police car seat after cocaine arrest. False? Nah, it's not true. Honestly, I kind of feel like that's true. Yeah, that's true? Yeah, that's true. 
What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Florida man breaks neighbor's window after seeing own reflection. Claims he thought it was a murder. That's definitely true. It's false. You're joking. True. It's false. Oh. I think that's true. It's false. Really? Um, a Florida man calls 911 after being locked in his house. Police say all he had to do was turn the knob. Also true? Are they all true? False. That's false? Yeah. I would do that. <laughs> That's weird, but I don't think so, false. Yeah, he was probably tripping off like synthetic bath salts. So it's true. It's false. All right, cool. Florida man shoots self, tells police he thought it was true. The alien one. That'd be kind of cool. But no, no, yeah, that's true, I think. It's false. Oh, okay. True? False. What the frick? True. It's false. Nia! <laughs> it's false. Why are you giving me all the false ones? Florida man goes to the hospital after eating everything in a buffet, tells the doctor it said all you can eat. See, that's fake, because it just sounds corny, like it's a corny joke. That's true. Um, that's hard. I feel like it's true, but like, it can be false. It's true. It's true? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Florida man allegedly fooled family into believing murdered wife was still alive. I, okay, I think that's true. So they. That's gotta be true, because Florida dudes be on some nut. That's true. So the wife was murdered. I think that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true? Okay. Florida man doesn't get straw, attacks McDonald's employee. 100% true. No doubt. That's <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> that's gotta be true, because I, uh, I did the same thing once. Florida man attacked sister, bit cop after someone touched his cigar. True? That sounds like something a Floridian would do. <laughs> Florida man breaks into neighbor's house, says he forgot where he lived. That has to be true. That's false. Oh my god, no, I'm leaving. This isn't it. <laughs> Florida man claims wife was kidnapped by holograms. You know, I, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. I thought you did a lot better than We all know and love social media Instagram, and we all know about the Instagram stereotypes. Here's Adriana and Erica with stereotypes you see as you're scrolling through the app. You can't, you can't. I love trash, I have hashtag say trash, and DM for shoots. Serious inquiries only. Yeah, there we go. My life actually just sucks. My Spanish teacher moved me away from my crush again. Like, how rude. I hate my life. I hate her. She's absolutely mental. This should be an Instagram caption. Oh my god. Thank you, next. Wait, now one of all of us. Oh, great. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what's going on inside Jalen Jones' head? Zeta took some time out of her week to follow Jalen around to figure out some of his daily thoughts. Check it out.
It's all, you know, I'm doing my mean tweets today. Film me something, you know, camera guy. And I look in here. You want to see, you wanna see right there on the shelf? Zoom in real quick. That's my camera. What do you think goes on in Jalen's head? Um, it's like microwaves, just like staring at my ribs the whole day. <laughs> He's always just wondering what's for lunch. What song do you think plays on repeat in Jalen's head? Baby by Justin Bieber. Baby. By Justin Bieber. Probably um, probably Beethoven's second score. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing to keep like the, the like I said, the intellectuals, you know, that mindset going. So. Now here's a minute with the master. This week on Minute with the Master, we'll be talking about college football. Heading into week 11 of the season, there are only seven undefeated teams left. These include LSU, Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, Penn State, Baylor, and Minnesota. Two of these teams are bound to lose, however, this week when number one, LSU, takes on number two, Alabama, and number five, Penn State, plays number 12, Minnesoda. The best one-loss team in the nation, however, resides in Athens, Georgia, with the Georgia Bulldogs sitting at 7-1, ranked at number 6 in the nation. UGA picked up a season-reviving win in Jacksonville last Saturday over SEC East rival Florida. Senior, senior wide receiver Lawrence Cager led the team in receiving yards with 132 on seven catches, including a touchdown with 10 minutes left in the game, to put UGA up 14. Georgia's outlook on the rest of their season is promising as they control their own destiny with only four games left. With everything in front of them, their biggest test will come November 16th when they travel to Auburn. While Georgia is doing well, Georgia Tech not so much, as their first-year coach is currently 2-6 and six and has a tough task ahead of them this week versus Virginia. Well, that's all I got for you this week. Thanks, John, and that's our show for this week. I'm Maddie. Tune in next week for another edition of Tribe TV. Wait, who?